What's up? I would say this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. Let's learn how to fight the corrupted monk. I ran out of syllables. <laughs> you ran out of syllables. Basic combos. Uh, if you'll recall from the LP that we did nothing but cheese tastic kizzle. Yeah. Uh, hey, you know this move? Yeah. Uh, it's it's the um, it's the dancer of the Boreal Valley from Dark Souls Three. <laughs> right. It's the same amount of revolutions. No. Oh. The Boreal uh, Dance. It does five. It's the little Boreal Dance. It does five revolutions. Um, <laughs> it likes. I think 100% of the time it starts with this, or maybe 95% of the time. Um, that one, it, the, the Boreal Dance is easy because you, you can block five times if you want to. You can also just run backwards. You're good. Okay. So the second, when I say basic combo here, the way that this particular boss works is when you do a successful deflection... Um, it'll have this sort of half circle sweeps that it'll do a certain amount of times and then it will end its combo with a combo ender so it has kind of a more it's a more complicated setup okay where it'll, it'll, it'll start at a certain distance it'll do a perilous move maybe a jump and a move but then if you deflect then it'll start doing these half circles and then it'll do one of these, you know, in ending sort of okay. combo enders. So this push and uppercut is the one that kind of always gets me um, because if you're too close, it can actually dead angle you and get through your guard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the spinning back, which which makes it seem like it's impossible to block, but it's actually just if, the, if it kind of like pokes from underneath you when you're blocking. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's the the par there, it has two perilous attacks. Um, technically, it has two versions of a sweep, um, and then also a perilous thrust. Uh, the perilous sweep has a follow up, which you really, really need to pay attention to because it'll do the sweep, it'll pause, and then it'll uppercut. <laughs> the thrust is a little bit easier to spot because almost all the time it will be uh, in the middle or towards the end of its combo rather than starting out. It can start with a perilous thrust, but if you just kind of assume that it's going to start with a sweep and sort of just work from there while trying to build the muscle memory for the fight, it, it, you'll be fine. Uh, and then if you're deflecting in the middle of a combo, and then it's more likely that it'll be a thrust. But you can also watch the hand if you're really into that. Mm -hmm. Because it'll just pull the it'll just pull straight back and then forward for a thrust rather than you know it's a little accusation it points its little finger oh it's okay. just gonna do an uppercut it, it'll run towards you and do an uppercut or do a floaty jump uh, these phase changes are not explicit because um, it only has one health bar but as I was recording footage it seemed like these things happened more frequently towards the end of its health bar okay not to say that they happen only there. But the sweeping jump, or when it jumps at you, and it'll do a, earlier on, we saw that sometimes it'll just do a straight slam. Easy mm -hmm. to dodge that one. But this one, you have to wait just a little bit longer, <laughs> and then it'll do a wide sweep at the end. That that one is, um, you just have to, you have to learn to recognize the difference between those two. It's a little bit hard. Uh, and that, that sort of getaway thing, eh, he, she only uses it like once or twice and the whole time, whatever, who cares. Hey, this is the delicious cheese platter. Yay! <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna watch it again. If you enjoy cheese, and if you enjoy this particular amount of cheese, why not watch our let's play uh, of Sekiro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this this happens uh, sometime during it's during the middle of part nine. I think that's the last one we did. I think so. We're using a Yashiriku's Sugar, which have our hell boost our damage. We're using Divine Confetti. The Snap Seed you can use three times. Instead, it also does damage. Right, a the lot of The Fistful damage. of Ash, the Pocket Sand, if you will, uh, is always effective, so you can use it ten times. That's how much you can have. Uh, and then the Firecracker is also works. You can do it eight times. Eh, unless you have more at this point, but at this point we could use it eight times. So, so you've got eight on uh, right trigger, you've got 10 ash, you've got three seeds, then you got some buffs, and then, yeah, that's it. And then you, you win. Can just, you can just totally be like, nah, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, this is the, what I would actually recommend, is going for vitality kill, because this 
dude has like a hundred bajillion posture. It sucks how much posture she has. <laughs> like you can you can be deflecting for days and you only get like 10-20% on that deflection bar and the exec, like that move right there, when you jump away, that would probably be enough to have it all recover again. Right. That's why I definitely recommend uh, a sort of learning the dodge timings for a few of these. <laughs> This is not, this is not technically because this happened. It was gonna be no damage, and it looked like it was no damage, but then I went back in the footage and... <laughs> so here is my no <coughs> damage run. <laughs> We're going for a vitality kill. Okay. So when that five sweep comes in, I'm just gonna duck in on that last one. There's a few of the sort of we're gonna block if it does a jump away, but waiting for that, just that last moment and then dodging right, it'll dodge either of the jump in attacks. So okay. that's why I'd say, you know, be used to that one. Remember the perilous sweep has that follow up? Right. Uh, you can dodge through it in either way. This one was, I think, a little bit riskier, but uh, either way will work. And then just do a, a little thrust attack as a counter. So, would it make sense to use, like, the, uh, the, the sword techniques, or just the heavy attack, light attack? Thrust attacks. Uh, the, the thrust attack is 50% more damage than normal, normal sword strike. Oh, okay. And it comes out much faster than any of the, um, uh, techniques you have. Possibly... <laughs> it's possible that there is a combat art that would be useful, but... I don't think so. I actually intentionally take off the combat art so I don't accidentally do like an Ichimonji or anything. Right. Okay. And because because we're not doing deflections, we're not seeing the um, sort of like multi-hit half circle combos in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, which is why this is why I recommend it because this seems even a little bit safer. And. In this game, it seems like dodging isn't as effective as it is in your uh, Soulsborne, other Soulsborne titles. Right. And it's true that it's not. Um, I don't know the exact number of iframes that you get, but most of it comes from the fact that most of the attacks in the game uh, have very good tracking, which is to say that the actual time when the direction for the attack is committed by the enemy is much later than it is in Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Right. So, for like an Ichimonji, think about like all the way up to the point when the sword actually starts coming down, the little, it can, the enemy would be able to change its direction. So even if you, if you dodge too early, they'll just be like, oh, you're over here now. No big deal. Hmm. So it's like like any like any other boss fight. Learning the combos or the deflect timings, learning the dodge timings is a perfectly legitimate way to do it. As mm -hmm. I hopefully am demonstrating here, there's that poor one pixel of health. I feel so bad. Oh. It's a perfectly legitimate way to do it. You just have to work a little bit later, just a little bit a little bit tighter with the the dodges. Uh, and positioning also very important because of as we saw in the. Uh, the last uh, part nine of the LP, uh, even these gigantic sweeping attacks, like from the Seven Spears uh, mini boss, that it has a certain arc to it. So that if you dodge the right direction, you don't even have to rely on your iframes because it'll just be at the part of its arc where it goes over your head entirely. Right. Or if you want to be cheeky, you can just like do a duck. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not gonna recommend that, but hey, you can. If you want to be cheeky. Yeah. I feel like all of the Souls games have had pretty okay, like, X, Y axis for wherever the uh, the blade itself, the hit, the hurt box of the weapon is. Hey, he used the snap seed. Hey, we're using that snap seed because we're almost at the end. So, like, oh, good. We use our snap seeds. <laughs> Let's go just throw a bunch of the gas. Just die. Please let me out of my video game prison. Yes. <laughs> well, there we go. I've killed the jailer. <laughs> I've been set free. Uh, I, I was going to say, like, all the games seem to have pretty good tracking on the hurt boxes of their uh, their uh, weapons. Mm -hmm. But this game feels, I don't know, it feels like you were so happy. <laughs> I was very happy that I didn't have to record this anymore. Yeah. This took a few hours. Oh, okay. But, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> you got so many levels. Mm -hmm. Why did you get so many levels? Uh, well, it's because this particular uh, playthrough that I'm recording the boss footage from uh, was the second uh, playthrough that I did. Uh, and I'm specifically going through and then just dropping or just recording save files at the beginning of every boss and mini boss so I could go oh, back. Oh, okay. So there wasn't a lot of like fighting through enemies. It was more of just like run through mm -hmm. and then get to the spots for each of the fights. And this one was earlier on in the uh, sort of overall playthrough. Mm -hmm. So had had less had killed less things anyways you get a lot from fighting it then anyways right that, okay. so that, that'd be the reason for that okay cool very happy that the corrupted monk is dead yes um, are you happier a, than lady butterfly uh no because this one is super easy to cheese okay um it's it's, it's only frustrating because i'm like all right let's make a guide for youtube <laughs> <laughs> right that thing we do Mm -hmm. And and after after working through all of the combos for a long time, um, coming coming to the conclusion to do a vitality kill, it was much more consistent, and I was I was having a much better time mm. because I, I had to learn the timings for actually fewer things, just because the deflections can, with the the uncertain amount of half moon strikes that come with deflections, and sometimes it'll end with a sweep, sometimes it'll get thrust, sometimes it'll be. It'll shove you and then do an uppercut, but you're too close, so it clips from behind you and it just throws you in the air. Anyways, mm -hmm. this, you can stay just outside of range often enough, that you, and then you can just do a quick dash in and poke. Uh, and it also feels really good to get a, um, a dodge through, like the uh, the little the, uh, the wide sweeps right. of the, I guess, um, the pull arm that, that they're using. So. Right. It's that, That's the thing I was going to say. Finish it up. It seems like the tracking is so much better on the hit boxes, uh, the hurt boxes for these weapons, that it's easier to actually just naturally dodge rather than use the iframe trick. I don't know, or not trick, but you're like going mm -hmm. under the hurt box rather than iframing through it. It's true. Plus, mm -hmm. in this game, you can actually jump and duck. Those are things that are built into the basic system of the game. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. <laughs> Well, if you have found this guide helpful, uh, or if you like any of our content, please feel free to go to Patreon, uh, where you can support us monthly, or you can do a one-time thing through PayPal, or, you know, just, you know, like, comment, subscribe. We like seeing the comments. We like uh, knowing that you guys like what we do. Uh, we love making it. All those things make it easier. Sekiro. Shadows die. We died a lot. We all know. We've only... <laughs> That's not... That's not the fiction, David. Stay on the script. <laughs> Hold on. Where's... Okay, yep. All right, yep. It's at the, the beginning. Hold on. All right, hold on. I've got my script, It's at too. the bottom of... It's 35B. Are you, Do you still have 35A? I got 35C. You have 35... Where did you get 35C from? I don't know. Hold on. Thank you for your advice. Um, I'm going to have to have a conversation with my picture. Like the human or the object? Yes. All right. Do you want to try it again? Uh... No, we we're, we're running out of tape. We don't have enough. Um, we have to we have to cut it off right now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're out of 